There's a slight mock-up with the boom and the stick on. The bucket I built 20 years ago. It's just a desk. I made it as a paperweight. Just for something to do. I never put teeth on it. It's made after a TWS. Maybe a bucket. But it turns out it's the right size. The right scale. I don't know how that worked out. That'll be the bucket. I'll duplicate that. And it's working on the boom cylinders now, which is a little more work than I thought because you can't, it's hard to find round that goes into round. So we've got the eyes on the ends. And they actually are limited. Use the old metal lathe, the welded a block, a little piston on the end. So they're, they're limited how far they'll come out right to the end. Put a bead of weld around the rod and put it on the lathe and they're capped. It's actually a washer to reduce the diameter at the end. So they're boom cylinders. Uh, Friday afternoon here. Oh yeah, week, week doesn't go very far. So it took forever. I probably got a day into these cylinders and boom mounts and stuff. So this is all mock-up. These will be separate pins and I got little, little bushings. Bushings and stuff for shimming and spacing. Did make a couple of rotary manifolds. Well, sorry, rotary. Swing motors, swing transmissions. So they each got one of those. Uh, Geometry is all right. Cylinders are all accurate. They're just hanging in there with odds and ends now for setup. And again, that bucket is will be copied. So they're going to look good. But my goodness, they're not going to be cheap. I think these are going to be $2,500 bucks too. They may get full guarding packages. And they're going to get all the decals and hand-painted. And they're both coming along at the same stage. The other one's the same. The arm is there for it. Now here's something for your metal lead. If you do not have one of these, you got to have one. They're from the 60s. They're ancient. But they're great. So it's quick release. So we can go from a cutter. I got all the tons of lathe stuff. Boring bars and toolboxes full of bits. I can change out for, i got bucket cylinders to cut now, so I can drop a cutoff tool on there, tighten it down, not with one hand, but these are a good system for a metal lathe. Yep. So we can do cutters, I can drop a boring bar in there if I want to quickly I want to go inside. There is a weld. This is welded pipe. I want to go in there and really machine it fancy. Or with a drill bit. So get different kinds of boring bars. Oops. Attachments. So, but a lathe is a handy tool for this stuff. 